Thanks again so much for joining me, Megan the Trainer, for another segment of Megan's Movement Minute here at Fitness Lying Down. So today I am going to talk about planks in the honor of planks giving. Um, so today I'm going to talk about how to set up a successful plank and what unsuccessful planks look like and then also how we find ourselves in planks actually all the time without even actually being on the ground. So to get yourself set up for a successful plank, this is a common thing people tend to use for core training because again our core is meant to brace us um, and to keep us kind of upright and just to hold some core integrity. So that is exactly what planks do. You can find yourself in a plank position. So I want my hands to be right under my shoulders and I'm going to extend my feet back. Now from here, for me, this is pretty easy because I'm not, I don't really have a lot of tension anywhere. I'm not really doing a whole lot. So I don't feel, I feel a little in my core, but nothing too crazy. But how can we make that that much better? I want you to drive through your back heels and fight to keep them apart. So instantly I have some lower body tension just from that, from plugging my toes into the ground. Now my hands are pretty lax right now, but again, if we grip the ground with your fingers and push the floor away, I immediately feel some upper body stability too. And then my core has to work even more just to help hold this plank position. So hands and feet. Over half of the bones in our body reside in our hands and our feet. So to make your planks more successful, plug your toes in, grip the ground with your hands, kind of pack, push the floor away to pack those arms in. So we find ourselves in plank positions all day long and you probably don't even recognize it, but that's what's so important about how we train our core and making sure that we train it for its intended purpose. So we have so many muscles that make up our core. So it would be completely unfair to only work the six pack. That's totally not fair. Okay, so what do I mean that finding yourself in a plank more often than you actually think? For example, I have my ultimate sandbag here. I'm going to just show you a standing press out. So this is like a standing plank. So I'm going to grab onto the middle of the sandbag and I'm going to lock my arms in. So my hands are about belly button level and I have tension in my feet. I'm breaking the floor apart just like as if I was reaching with my heels to the back wall. So from here, I'm going to keep my hands belly button level as I press out, keep tension on that ultimate sandbag as I pull it apart, and I'm going to push it back in. So if you'll notice, at this position, I'm really just in a vertical plank. I'm in the same exact thing as if I'd be all the way down on the ground. So I still have that tension in my hands, I still have that tension in my feet. So your planks don't have to only be on the ground. Although here at Fitness Lying Down, we like to do some fitness on the ground, but just know Know that your training for your planks has some carryover as well. So we just need to recognize that movement or that pattern recognition um, as you train and as you move throughout your day. Now that you know better, let's go out and do better so we can all be better.